YouTube, she can show me with a review of the Power Rangers Dino Charge Dino Com. This is our first look at the basic roleplay gear assortment, or basic battle gear as they call it, for Power Rangers Dino Charge. This is packed alongside a basic version of the Dino Saber, just like there's a basic version of the Super Mega Saber. Um, I decided not to pick it up because I have no real reason to own it. Um, but that one does come with a Stego Charger. So if you're looking for another Stego Charger without buying the power packs, that is to how you do so. Words. In the Dinocom, we get a Tricera Charger, which is pretty cool. So you get the Pink Rangers Changer? Charger? Changer Charger? Morpher Charger? Yep. So here is the Dinocom itself. This is our version of the Mo Buckle. It's a lot more basic, but it does more. But we'll get to that. Um, these are about $14.99 or so, give or take, depending on where you pick these up. Uh, I picked this up off of Amazon.com. I believe they've only been found at like New York or something like that at retail right now, so don't go running around looking for it. Um, but Amazon has been stocking them regularly, so if you want to pick this up, check out Amazon. I'll try to put a link in the description below. Alright, so here we go. Real quick, here is the Tricera charger that comes with the Dinocom. Uh, black numbering, small dinosaur. Um, I'm not sure about the print. How is the print? Sticker looks about the same as the one from the Power Pack. But like I said, I, mine has the black numbers with a small dinosaur. My Power Pack was a white number with a big dinosaur. Everything is different. The name is a lot clearer on the back, though. I will give it that. Uh, so, yeah, you're getting all sorts of variants with these uh, Dino Chargers, whether it is intentional or not. But pretty much exactly what we're used to, just with a smaller picture. There is the QR code if you want to take a scan. And uh, it plays the same exact sounds in the Dino Charge Morpher, but let's do it anyway. Alright, so here is the Dinocom, and they actually did a pretty dang good job on it. Um, outside of a little sliver of the eye here that isn't uh, painted, right there, um, they did pretty much cover everything that they needed to to make this look really convincing. Um, now, in the show, it's used as a sort of like a smartphone, uh, as well as a holder for the chargers, as you can see in here. You can store three chargers in there. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, there is a belt buckle piece that you can clip onto your belt and it will spin because it is normally straight like this when it's on their belt buckle. But uh, to take the chargers out in the show, they spin it sideways and then open it up to take the chargers out. Because uh, the ones in the show are designed after the Japanese toy. It had a train here that came out that had the three chargers diagonally. They just went with a clip system for the American release, but that is why it spins. So it's not entirely necessary for the US one too, but it is still accurate to the show with the spinning gimmick. Obviously, this does not include belt loops or buckles or anything like that like uh, the Japanese one did. It's uh, just a simple clip-on one because uh, this is the basic Battle Gear assortment. However, what they did above the Japanese version is that there's actually sounds in this. Um, it, lights would have been really cool. But um, there are some sounds in this. You press the giant Dino Charge logo right up here, and you get uh, one of four sounds randomly. Power Rangers Dino Charge! Charge it up! It's morphin' time! So those are the four... And it is completely uh, random. We are just really lucky on that. Uh, <laughs> so that is kind of cool. The sounds aren't that great. Um, it would have been cool if there was some phone noises, since that's essentially what this is. But um, it is cool that it still at least makes sounds, since my major complaint with the Mobuckle was the fact that it didn't really have much playability because it didn't have sounds or lights. Um, there is a latch right here that makes it a heck of a lot easier to open up. Um, and inside, like I said, you can house three Dino Chargers. Just push them in there. They'll clip in just like that. It is not that difficult whatsoever to do so. So there we go.
I should have uncharged these, but oh well. Um, and taking them out is just as easy. Just kind of push on one end and pop it out. Very, very simple. And that's all there is to this. However, the buckle part does come off. And you can see a Zord Builder port. So you can do that for whatever reason. Um, I, I don't know how this is practical by any means, but it is cool. I mean, they had the port right here. They might as well use it. And so now you can attach your Dino Chrome to the random Megazords that you've been collecting thus far. So yay, added playability. So while I totally just advertised that Zord Builder port, um, it made the clip very wiggly. Uh, the trouble I was having inserting it, I guess was because this is smaller than the normal Zord Builder port or something like that, and I stretched it out or something. But anyhow, the, uh, the clip doesn't go in any further, and it is very much wiggly. It still turns and everything like that. It still functions, but it's, uh, it's really rattly. So don't attach this to your Megazord, please. So overall, I really like the Dinocom. It is a basic Battle Gear assortment, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but the fact that they included sounds in it uh, really makes it a little bit better of a purchase to me over the Mobuckle. Uh, I really wish the internal part still had that little tray that flipped out just for screen accuracy, but the clip system that they used works just fine as well. Um, I just prefer the accuracy a little bit there. But um, overall, it fits nice in the hand. It is quite a bit smaller, but it... Uh, it helps the portability aspect of it. It's a great way to hold three chargers, uh, especially for kids. If they want to take some dino chargers on a trip or something like that. It's a great way to hold three of them, as well as having something that makes sounds, because everyone loves sounds, no matter how old you are, because sounds are cool. So overall, it looks great. It does come with the Tricera charger, so if you aren't collecting the power packs for whatever reason, if you get the two basic battle gear items, you can get all five of the main chargers um, by buying the zords and the weapons. So there is that um, going forward as well. So that's pretty neat. And um, I don't know. I just, I like it. It is it is what it is, and it's uh, not a bad toy. So if you're looking for something to hold some chargers, uh, especially if you have kids or something like that, this is a great pickup. Um, if you're mostly focused on collector's aspects, it can be fun um, and does look good on a shelf because it is painted pretty dang nice for a basic Battle Gear item. Um, it's still a pretty easy pass in some aspects, but overall, at the end of the day, I do really like it. So thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.